my husband. We made it. All right, this is my 2014 Subaru Outback. These are stock rims that I Plassey dipped. And what I'm gonna do is put a one and three quarter inch um, subtle solution lift, lift on it. These are an inch that are aluminum and the bigger ones on top are the front and the smaller ones are the back. So it is a three, it's an inch uh, aluminum with a three quarter uh, poly spacer and I guess the poly spacer helps take out the road noise. Um, here he is and some time-lapse footage I did a couple times and he's taking off the tires and undoing uh, some of the bolts up front so the strut can drop down so he has take off the pressure of the strut when he's doing it so three bolts in front here he is uh, taking out three bolts and it just he holds it from the bottom drops down and the bolts are a little long to put on the he takes out the bolts and puts in these longer ones for the spacers and um, he had to take off the top hat to get those bolts in so one thing to think about um, so he's putting on the bolts he just drops it uh, pushes it straight up puts on the bolts and locks it back down tightens everything up um, these uh, spacers are they seem to be really well built um, I haven't heard any road noise yet um, I think the longest part in all this was taking off that top hat was compressing the spring and uh, getting that top hat off of there so you can get those bolts in so um, here's just a look quick look at the uh, all-wheel um, driving back and now he's loosening up everything so the strut can can loosen up so he can loosen up from top and it'll just drop out so he has to loosen all these bolts out here he goes and um, actually took a little bit of time but it, it didn't the the back didn't seem as hard as the front and then he just opens up the trunk compartment and there's two screws up on top didn't have to take off anything so where the spare tires under there so he just loosens those up takes off the bolts and it drops down and here he's putting in the spacers there's three spacers in the rear so it actually helped out a lot so the camber wasn't that far off so he's putting in the spacers and uh there is right there putting in the, the back spacer i'll have a close-up of these spacers here in a second tighten them up and um putting the strut putting all the the bolts back torquing everything down we did have to replace the um the brake line he had to put make a little bracket to offset it a little bit because it was already pretty tight so um, one of the things I'm going to mention to Subble Solution about uh, maybe including or saying that you should get a relocator for the brake line to take some of the pressure off just in case. And just as soon as it goes back up, just tighten the top off and that's it. Here's a look at the spacers. Um, everything's well built. It's all bolts look good. Um, everything's labeled and um, says several solutions on all the parts everything looks really professional well built yeah that's it so after this part just puts back on the tires does the alignment and then I'm off to the tire shop where uh, my friend is hooking me up with some rims and tires so I went with the uh, method rally rims This rim only came in bronze or a white, like an off-whitish, it looked like from the photos. So I went with the bronze um, rim here. And then the tires I went with were the um, Toyo Open Country All-Terrain Tire. And uh, just to get a little better tire on, on this car. Here's a close-up of the tire and the little side knobs. Um, kind of thought they were going to be bigger because they're so kind of small, the little knobbies on the side for grip. But, you know, there's no road noise. Um, I, I just took a trip to Utah with them soon, the two days after I got this together. So um, here's a thing I didn't see from anyone else is the side to see how far it stuck out. You don't really get to see that too much. And it didn't stick out at all. I was really surprised that with the 
the all-terrain tires and how it just sat just like a, a normal, just the normal stock tires. I think I had Cooper tires on there before. Um, the car did rub in the front when I turned. Um, it's a 14, and I noticed that 13 didn't wouldn't have this problem. There's a little um, piece that you just have to trim off off the front uh, mud flap. But uh, and here I am in Utah, almost getting stuck in some super soft sand. It actually said don't take any all-wheel drives on this uh, on this uh, track here, and and here I am um, doing it. So almost got stuck, but I didn't. Um, I was a little worried because I didn't have a compressor to air up my tires. If I had to air them down, I didn't have any recovery stuff. So probably wasn't the best idea, but wanted to take it out there and, and see what it can do. And, you know, um, the Toyota TRD got stuck and my Subaru didn't. So uh, everything looks good. Subtle Solutions, Method, uh, Rally Rims, and the um, Toyo Open Country All-Terrain Tires. Um, Everything seems to be good. Um, just got back and checked everything, and everything everything's holding up really good. I'm really surprised on on how it doesn't feel that different. But definitely, you're a little bit higher. Um, you got a ton more clearance, and I think if I didn't have the lift on here, I would have uh, bottomed out a couple times. So, go check it out. <laughs> 